After Man United's defeat against West Ham, it really does feel like Jose Mourinho has lost the support of a lot of Manchester United fans and seemingly the players as well. Now, there have been a lot of flashpoints over his career as Manchester United manager that fans have disagreed with. You know, from his treatment of Luke Shaw to his treatment of Martial and how that soured over time, especially after Alexis Sanchez's arrival. Um, him floating with PSG about the managerial appointment there. All of his comments leading up to the contract renewal where he battled with Woodward to maintain control, his tactics, his management style. They're all disagreement points. Fans will always disagree with certain things that a manager does. It doesn't mean you want to get rid of him. It doesn't mean you want him replaced. That is part and parcel of being a football fan. But for me, there are two major flashpoints where I really truly feel that Jose Mourinho lost the support of the fans and the players. And these are the two flashpoints where, for me, it really did turn for Jose Mourinho at Manchester United. Back in March 2018, Manchester United drew Sevilla in the round of 16 Champions League. On paper, it was a brilliant draw for Manchester United. We avoided some tougher opposition. We got Sevilla, a game where over two legs with Mourinho, with a man who has mastered Europe before, won it with Porto, won it with Real Madrid, won it with Inter Milan. He knows what it takes to win the Champions League. Fans went into that game and that tie with real confidence. And then you look at the away game. It was a nil-nil away against Sevilla and it was an abomination. You expect it to be tight away from home. That always happens. But Manchester United were pumped by Sevilla as far as a nil-nil pumping goes. Sevilla had 26 shots to United six. David De Gea's fantastic saves were the only reason that we came away from that game with a point. And I went to the game, went to Sevilla, lovely few days in Spain, but it was a horrible, horrible football game. And you just don't expect to see that from United on that level. But still, we had the home leg coming up and it was nil-nil, still completely in the tie. So fans pissed off with the performance, but you can understand away from home, maybe, what we're doing. Because you know you've got the home leg coming up, confidence. Now, the home leg is where the veil slipped for Jose Mourinho. He once was the master of Europe, but he was exposed horribly by a distinctly average Sevilla side. Over the two legs against Sevilla, Man United had four shots on target over both legs combined. We were outplayed at Old Trafford for the majority of the 90 minutes by Sevilla and their goals came with a sense of inevitability when they did finally score. Man United getting one back changed absolutely nothing. What the hell have we just seen? over those two legs against Sevilla in the Champions League. And for a lot of United fans, that performance and the decision to set up how United set up in European football was a point where they lost it for Jose Mourinho. But his comments after the game as well, they made it almost 10 times worse. Speaking after the game, this is what Jose Mourinho did say. He said, I know this has happened at Manchester United before because I've sat in this chair as manager of Porto and of Real Madrid. I don't think it is something new for this club. He's talking about United going out of the Champions League. Almost, instead of accepting blame for what United had done in those two legs against Sevilla, Mourinho was belittling United fans and the expectations that we had about the Champions League. Now, if he had lost some fans with the performance itself, refusing to accept blame and almost blaming United fans for expecting too much in European football, he lost a hell of a lot more then. Now, ever since Sevilla, there have been plenty of flashpoints and plenty of reasons to disagree with Jose Mourinho and to be frustrated with the, I suppose, lack of progress that's going on with United. But it was the West Ham game where we really, truly saw another major section of United fans or the United fan base and the players almost down in their tools. It looked like they'd lost faith in Jose Mourinho at that point. Now, after the one-all draw with Wolves at Old Trafford, it was an abject feeling. We just got played off the park by Wolves at home. And Pogba's comments after about attack, 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 it really didn't help the situation. But United had Derby in the League Cup a few days later. Win that, put the Wolves game behind you, move on. Then we played Derby. And we got played off the park by Derby for the second game in a few days at Old Trafford, the championship side. It was a horrible, horrible, horrible game. No other way to describe it. And we went out on penalties. So the Wolves game, you expected a reaction from the players for the Derby game. No reaction at all from the players. Or Jose Mourinho. United were just 
awful and played off the park by Derby. Now, that's two losses in a row. And we've been here before, under Mourinho, in fact. We can overcome it. We can move past it. Just like we did early in the season, we lost a couple of games and won three in the bounce. You think, right, okay, do the same thing again, but we need the consistency to recover. And then West Ham happened. Now, I'm not sure I've seen many more abject performances from the first whistle. The players, they weren't playing for Jose Mourinho. For me, that was abundantly obvious. I was at the game, it was a, it was a crap away end. It really was, down in the bottom part. The, the upper section must have been better because the, the lower part was silent anyway. But the players, no player left that pitch knowing that they'd left 100% in their performance. The players are down their tools. 1-0 down after five minutes. We made West Ham with Mark Noble look like Barcelona. And they've been so shit this season, apart from the Chelsea and Macclesfield games. And at a time when Mourinho really needed his players to react, to put those two results to the side, and to put in a fantastic performance, there was a complete lack of urgency. And it looked like the players did not give a fuck. And for fans seeing that, it, it was a sign that Mourinho had lost the players. You know, there's nothing wrong with losing in football if you leave everything on the pitch, you tried everything and your utmost to win that game. But no United player can say that after the 3-1 defeat against West Ham. Hardly anybody can come out of that with any sort of grace. It was just a fucking awful performance. And for me, it was the biggest sign, as I said, that Mourinho had lost the players. And without the support of his players, the writing really is on the wall for Jose Mourinho as the United manager. And the weird thing about that West Ham game was it almost felt like Jose Mourinho was trying to make a point. Starting Pogba, McTominay, Matic and Fellaini, four central midfielders against West Ham. Huh? And starting McTominay at centre-back and leaving Eric Bailly, an actual centre-back, on the bench. And we conceded three goals, just like we did against Spurs when Ander Herrera was used as a centre-back for one of the first time, or the first time in his career. Scott McTominay should not be playing centre-back. If he's going to play anywhere for United, play him central midfield. That's his actual position. And then after the game, Mourinho praised McTominay heavily after what was a pretty disappointing and average performance. It almost felt like Mourinho using his trusted ally in McTominay, focusing on the positives that he brought, or that Mourinho said he brought, to the team. The player that Mourinho said it was his manager's player of the year last year, which left a lot of fans scratching their heads. It almost felt like at a time where other players are showing dissent towards Mourinho, he feels that he doesn't have their support anymore. He's rounding his generals. He's getting Fellaini. He's getting Stuttgart McTominay. He's getting players that he knows, Lukaku as well, you can come there. Players that he knows still have his support and his back at the club. He's using them, rounding them behind him like generals in an army. That's what it felt like from Jose Mourinho. And he now finds himself in a situation where, arguably, it's past the point of no return. And with lots of fans now wanting Mourinho to be sacked and for a change to happen at the club, and the player's not playing for the manager, it does feel like a matter of time before that change happens. Now, I want to know from you in the comments, if you still support Mourinho, if you still stand behind him, I want to know exactly why. Can you explain in the comments the reasons behind why you don't want Mourinho to be sacked and for change to happen at Manchester United? But if you do want a change, can you please comment below with the flashpoints that you want to mention? Things that have happened over the last three years where you've gone, nah, Mourinho's not the right man for this club. Whether that's severe, whether that's, as I said, his treatment of Martial, Shaw, anything, any flashpoints that you remember, or is it in your head, you were like, no, it's too, it's too far now. And for me, that was the West Ham game and everything I saw from the players, the reaction, and from the fans as well. United are a club in complete free fall right now. It's an absolute mess. And it's not just down to the manager, it's everything that's behind the manager as well. But ultimately, it would all fall on the manager's head because he is the person who fronts the club. And for Jose Mourinho, it does now feel like it's a matter of time before he is replaced as Manchester United manager. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below, as I said. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and drop a like on the video. It always helps as well. Uh, until next time, take it easy.